Hi Doc, so we are back with Georgie and we are going to do nails, we're going to finish off some nails and we're going to match them to her hair colour because why not, do you know what I mean? I think maybe I should have uh, green, pink, and green. pink and green nails. That is a combo. That is a combo. But yeah, we're going to do mint green and orange nails. So let's get cracking. I'm going to use two colours from the Genesis range from Crystal, from, um, oh my god, Nail Alchemy, in aluminium and bean bombs. Aluminium? Bean bombs, yeah. Isn't aluminium silver? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's green. I know. I didn't name it. And we'll also use some A and A glitters in Summer Sorbet and Fantasy Collection uh, Troublesome Troll. Mm -hmm. Quite a lot. Isn't it? And I want to use some of the Nail Alchemy um, Angel Paper, which is this one. So basically, I know you can't see Georgie. Georgie just comments on our Instagram so you can stalk her. And she also comments on the YouTube channel. She's got orange hair. So that's why we have an orange. I'm just going to cut a bit of that off because we're going to use some of that. We'll cut that up. Angel paper is not transfer foil. It has to be cut up and laid in to the nail. So I'm going very, very, very thin with this. You still do so many caps like three D. It's pent to be out. Room. There's a lot going in there. And I'm gonna put the orange at the end. I do find this marbles a little bit, so you do have to kind of work it a bit. Is that just due to the amount of pigment that makes them marbly? Yeah. So I've blended it a little bit, it doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to put a bunch of glitter on there. So now we can go in with all of them glitter. Today. We're using the Kirsty McKean glass slipper to pick that up and oh. pop that in. What brush are you using? I'm using the Oscar the Wild brush. Then, gonna get some of the Orange Glitter. It's like a mix, it's a lovely mix this is. It's it looks really. a bit goldy, doesn't it? Yeah, it's very yellowy. And... Yeah, all sorts going on. Ooh, it's already. Oh! That is stunning. That is nice! Let me have a sneaky peek. Oh! Oh, I see a little star. Yeah. Because you're a star, Doc. Oh, thank you. Then I'm going to cut some little shards of this angel paper. camera makes that look so much bigger than it actually is. It's, I know. it's crazy, isn't it? I have it? no patience for that. So we're just encapsulating those little shards as well, so we get like a bit of extra gorgeousness. It just gives it a bit of different dimension. 
I just want a little bit of that glitter sort of sneaking over that. Good. Nice! Okay, so with this one, I'm going to put the orange right at this smile line here. When you're doing this, you want to make sure, yes, it's going to be wet. Move it around and get it into those little recess. It's like a recess all the way up to that wall. Doesn't matter if you go onto that pink though, does it? Because it'll no. file away. Yeah, it will, it'll file away. Summery. Well, it's summer apparently. It's what they said. Not sure I agree looking outside. I know. Right, we'll just sort of tap this down so we get a bit of the pigment coming down, and then we'll go with the mint green. And I'm just tapping that, moving backwards and forwards just to blend it a bit. You definitely want to put these two colours together normally. Yeah, if you haven't seen it. No. While that's wet, I can still press that on. It's going to stick. And then we'll just secure that with a little bit of clear. Now, don't kill me for asking. Do you think this looks a bit bit plain up this top bit? Yeah, I've crossed it. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> I was thinking it looked a bit bland. Let your off. It looks bland. Just in that top smidge, yeah. No. No duck, you're not green. No, it doesn't look bland. Oh, just... It's green. It's gonna have crystals. That's fine. I was just making sure, you know, we're on the same page. Yeah, you dick. <laughs> so <laughs> how rude. Did you not come for the abuse? We'll leave you a one out of five star trip advisor. No, no. I need an holiday now for go with these nails. I know. Well, they go with your hair. They need to be taken out. The dupla in my outfit gives off goth vibes. So I'm a bit all over the show, clearly. Well, do you know what? Nothing wrong with a bit of colour in with the goth vibes. Yeah, the top's a bit more colourful then. So we're going to do exactly the same on this one. Making sure I'm putting it the shiny side up. 
Will it not stick if it's the other side? It'd just be dull. So there's oh. two sides to the um, angel paper. Oh, yeah. The shiny and there's dull. I mean, I suppose... Nobody want... wants to be dull. Nobody wants to be dull. But if you wanted to do that, you could do that. If you wanted, like, a matte colour no. shard in there. But, no, I didn't think that would be all. Not my cup of tea. Yeah. So, now we're going to encapsulate. So, we're going to use our glass slipper acrylic to encapsulate. So I'm doing the lateral length first. Stretching and pulling that down the nail. And then we're going to encapsulate the top section and this is where we lay in the apex. So you can see we have built up an apex in the back third. Can we have it on camera? There we are. When you're doing the lateral length, do you prefer a drier bead or a bit more of a wetter? Encapsulating, yeah. I feel a bit wetter anyway. But if I am sort of patting and want loads of control, I'll go a bit drier. Mm -hmm. So I'm checking down the side and I'm looking at this side and I feel like it needs just a little bit here. I should be a hand contortionist. I think you are. Never mind, you should be. I'm quite bendy. I think you're very bendy. I think you should have. What a weird to have. Have you doing all sorts of bendy shit here? Yeah. Oh, go on then. Bit of advertising with bendies. Hypermobility. Is a thing. It is. Mm. I'm quite sure I've got hypermobility. Because I can put like my thumb to the... Like me oh, can you do that weird thumb thing? Yeah, yeah. Oh. I remember when I did that years ago for you, you were just like... It no. freaks people out. Like, I don't like it. It makes me go a bit funny. Yeah, we t I remember talking about it. Like, I'm talking probably five years ago we talked yeah. about it. Yeah. So I just went like that and she was just like, what? Yeah, not many people can do it. I didn't know that. But then I can't curl, curl my tongue. You can't? No. Can't do it. Just doesn't... Your tongue too flat. No, I just can't do it. I've tried and I've Kaylee told me that a lot of people that have got hypermobility tend to be on the spectrum. Really? So she says. Because mm. Kaylee's definitely on the spectrum. And so is the song. Learn well, something new every day. Mm, that's what she said. Well, you know, I don't know where the facts are. Can you I was just thinking, well, why aren't I hypermobility? <laughs> Maybe it's not everybody, maybe it's just... Maybe you're the odd one out. Yeah. Can you touch your nose with your tongue? You just want me to do a stupid face. <laughs> no, no, it was a genuine question. Can you lick your elbow? No. She did try. I did try. <laughs> I, did try. I was trying to prove a point, but it didn't work. Um, so can I do... No, your tongue's too... You've got such a tiny tongue. Mm, I've got a big tongue, right? Fat, massive tongue barge. Yeah. Or only a little dinky dot. <laughs> Look, can you can you lick your, lick your nose? Can you though? No, I can. Show us. Can we not far? Can you do it then? Oh my god! It's a weird. I'm just very. Is strange. that your party trick? I went. It should be. <laughs> 
So we're going to do the same on all of these. Get them all encapsulated. My holiday nails are going to have to be like bright and bright and a bit more bright. Brighter than like you can see them from the moon? Yeah. Where are you going on holiday? I'm going Turkey in November and Gran Canaria in December. Oh. Whereabouts in Turkey? Marmaris, I think. I've never been Marmaris. Don't ask too many questions, I just booked you to pay for it. So, we're going to file these now, side walls nice and straight, I just love how I keep pointing with my bad finger, yeah. sorry. So, file, side walls. Have you heard about Sinead O'Connor? Have you heard about Sinead O'Connor and it's sad? Mm. Then we're going to go round this cuticle area. When you've got colour all the way up, to the cuticle area, it's so important to make sure you have a buffer of the clear. So make sure that's why I did it so thin. I did the colour really thin and then encapsulated with the clear as you will file through to the colour and then you'll end up removing the colour. To put a bit more clear than it at the back just to give you a bit more filing. Yeah, there. yeah. Edge. You've got your gentle pants on today. Have I got my gentle pants yeah. on? Maybe it's because I've got a bad finger. <laughs> You're like, yeah, I have a bad finger all the time. Nice and gentle for a change. And then I'm going to concentrate on this side. Supporting this nail. You've got to support the nail. It's a long nail. It's going to put a lot of pressure onto the natural nail. Look how long they are now on a sculpting floor. Do you want to see? Yeah, I've got one intrigued. Where's me? Ooh. Oh, are they now? Nearly a turn. They ain't grown that much. Thought they'd grown a lot more than that. What a number. Go me. Well, compared to the usual, I suppose that's very good though. They are long. What number do you think Faye had yesterday? I already know. <laughs> I sure, I sure he asked. What no, no, I told them. Well, no, we were just having a chat. I we asked if she'd had short or, uh -huh. or long. And then. Right, she's had an eight. She's had an eight on the form. I think it is stiletto, though. And they do look longer, don't they? I know that's a bit delusional. Mm. I know what you mean, they, they create an appearance of looking yeah. longer than they are. And then we're going to concentrate on this side. Again, supporting the nail. Gonna check down the barrel. Can take a little bit more off here. I 
then we're going to marry these together and soften that curve. Can you do an edge nail with a tip? Yes. Manipulating the tip. Mm. You can actually get edge tips. They're not very long though. They're not long enough for you. Mm. I swear we've done an edge with a tip or have we not? I don't know. Mm, probably. probably a long time ago. Mm. Can you please create some like very, very long tips? Add it on all, your all different, list. All different shapes. Yes, please. If you move the hand around in this position, you can really hold the finger and nail with both fingers so you know that it's super supported. And you can just get that end a little bit thinner. I find it makes like doing the cuticle on that side that bit easier, doesn't it, as well? Oh, when you do yeah, this? If yeah, we've got can, your finger twisted. Yeah, we come round like this. And then if we look here, we can see that there's a little bit of a dip. See here? Hmm. Mm. We need to soften that. We've got plenty of filing room. Make sure that apex is nice and smooth as well. So looking at all the angles, you've got to look at all the angles down here to the side. Underneath, take it back now, y'all. <laughs> and a hop. One hop this time. Two hops this time. Everybody, clap your hands unless you've got a bad finger. With bad fingers. Awesome. Right, so we're going to do the same on this one. We'll do the same on all of them. Get them all nicely shaped. Going through the same filing routine on all of the nails with all the angles. Of course. So we're gonna bling these out because obviously she needs bling. Of course. Of course. I've got a mixed um, green opal, which I think. Buy it. Mixed with some AB crystals. Mm -hmm. Yes. Looking nice and chunky. Chunky, yeah. Big things. Do oh, I keep them on? I can't keep little piddly ones on. Okay. We've, we've seen that. I didn't do too bad on this one though, I only lost one. You only lost one? Yeah. I've scoffed the life out of my other hand there. What do you think to like? Some little, you know like to make like a, a droplet looking effect? Does that make any sense? Like a necklace. Mm. Like yeah. what you've got on your hand on your tattoo. Like the yeah, like the little droplet things. Yeah. What do you think to like? Yeah, we can do one like that. Please. Thank you. Yeah? Very bossy. You said it, not me. You don't disagree though, do you? Sorry. Sorry. No, we'll do that. I'm going to use, this time I'm going to use um, a builder gel to put your crystals on with. This is the Lucente one. It's super thick. I've never seen crystals be put on with build gel. Oh. Used to just use in, like, you know. Gem gel. You can use aqua gel. Mm -hmm. The big ones. The big, big, juicy, juicy ones. Things. So you want like a, like a, a droplet -y thing. Yeah, like little ones that lead into like a, like a, a for one. I do for one. I do for one. Ah, I do for one. You know what I mean. Do for this, do for that. Ah. Okay, so we'll put that on in that kind of shape. I still feel like it needs a few years, huh? Are you putting that on quite 
sparingly almost or quite no just lightly to sort of drizzle off it's not mm. too thin you can see it's raised you see yeah yeah okay so let's start off with So we start with those in the corner. So I want to do one of these bad boys here and one of these bad boys here that we can work from that. So like your starting points. Yeah. We'll mix the two colours. I feel like I need a sneaky peek. No, you don't. You can see it on there. Yeah, but that's not the same. Well, touch it. Oh, I like that. Yeah, I felt like it just needed a little bit of, bit of something, something extra. there. Blink definitely makes the nail, doesn't it? Oh, that's cute. I like it. Let's flash cure that with a little flashing, flashing, flashing. No, thing. flash torch kind of. Yeah, <laughs> portable little baby little mini lamp. baby mini I'll lamp. Do. There we are. We'll put that in it. now. But we're still going to put some on these. Yeah. These are just going to be more blingy. <laughs> we'll make these ones a little bit more blingy. That's always good when you love them. I'm easily pleased. I don't think you're easily pleased. Ha. I do, do not, not think. No. That's something that you definitely can't say. You are not easily pleased. I am. Yeah. You yeah. are slightly fussy. But, mm. you know, that's fine. I wouldn't say fussy. Picky? I like things a certain way. Hmm. Yeah. Fussy, I call that. Oh, right, okay then. But I always love everything. Yeah, and that's good. Nothing basic. You wouldn't come back if you didn't, would you? No. Well, I would, but I'd, I'd, I'd make a few complaints. You'd have to make a complaint to the um, 
complaints department. Yeah. I've never left unhappy yet. That is fabulous. We don't want unhappy. Yeah, we only upset Finn. Yeah. We'll keep that to play. She was quite jolly yesterday. Yeah. She is very well missed on YouTube. Now the right work very well. But you know what I mean. She's missed. She is. But she's she's back to um she's making a comeback. To a bad bitch. She said yesterday that she thinks that not having the long nails is actually like not made her depressed, but you know, she felt way better having the long nails like she was like, I think this is actually Actually, what I needed, you know, like it's given a boost, a bit of a, a bit confident, bit of a pit, pit me up. And I think I think nails do do that. I do. 100%. They really do. You give you confidence. I don't think they need to any confidence boost at all. Well, Definitely not. She clearly thinks she. Does. I can't mm. make a comment on that. I mean, how much confidence does one girl need? She was stripping off. Hey, up now. She was. That girl does not need any confidence, but Can she all. share some of that confidence? I know that'd be nice, wouldn't it? She just likes to make me feel uncomfortable. <coughs> That's what it is. Adam's like, whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on here? <laughs> I always feel sluggish without my nails on. Look at them, absolutely gorgeous. We are going to top coat them now, which is, you know, a lot of my favourite bit. Let's see them come to life. So we're going to push the top coat right up to the stones, give them extra protection. Oh, love, love it. it, love it. Oh, and you can see that angel paper. Yeah. It's a bit hide and seek almost. Mm. So you put the top coat on. Love them. These might be a new fave. Until you change your hair colour. Yeah. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Until I come back from your film, I'm like, nope. Prefer the next ones. Where have you been going for your hair? I go to a lady called Kylie in Fenton, one of my close friends. Oh. I love new hair day just as much as new nail day. Do you? Mm. I don't go very often, so it's like a proper treat when I do go. Yeah. Oh, look at the thorns. Thorns me five. Thing of beauty right there, I tell you. Thank you. 
put them in the lamp. Sorry, I was just seen and I'll just kick you. It's not like you can change him. Get him in the bloody lamp. You just can look at him. For, the, I like look at for weeks. Please. Too many weeks at this rate. <laughs> <laughs> Let's pop some oil on to Stop you these. from rushing. I don't know if anything's going to stop me from rushing, to be honest. It will if you lose a finger. Well, maybe I'll that. Get your finger. Let me Ooh. wipe off any excess. Oh, they go, yes! Lovely. I absolutely love them. Look at what a gorgeous combo. Stick around for the photos at the end and everything I've used today will be listed below. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Instagram and all that shebang. And I'll see you guys in the next video.